Hello and welcome back everybody to some more Let's Stream RimWorld, this time with Alpha 12. It's been a while since we did this one. Uh, 50 people in, and apparently there's a lot of people's first time seeing the game. Uh, so we're doing Alpha 12. I The reason there is this big hiatus, by the way, between episodes is I was thinking... Uh, I was busy around the time that Alpha 12 came out. I thought, I'll just wait till Alpha 13 to stream it. Uh, and then ended up turning out that he's been working on a really big update, so it's going to take a while. So we're going to just do some Alpha 12. This added uh, taming of animals to the game, as well as a few other more minor things I don't remember, because it's been months. And I have played it, and it's really awesome. As usual, I've named the um, three starting people after people in the chat. And as we get more people, we'll be continuing to put in votes in the chat to get you guys in. Uh, but let's just go over real quick what our skill sets are. These are just the three random people that popped up immediately, and I just renamed them. 20-year-old, good. I like having young people to start with, because old people tend to have, like, bad backs and stuff, which really hamper them. Can't craft or do studying. Eh, that's fine. Uh... Once bionic body parts, good. Permanent 6 plus mood effect, good. Okay, so that person's gonna be good. Uh, good in melee combat, really good with animals. I like to have someone who starts with uh, a burning passion for taking care of animals. Small passion for medicine, although not a very good medic. Passion for cooking, growing. This is all around a really good character. Now for unhandy here, also really likes animals. Uh, good with social, that's important. Constructing, nice early on. Bad at research, but has a passion for research, so is likely to get better at it. Traits steadfast, harder to mentally break, that's good. Psychically hypersensitive, can be really bad. And hard work, global work speed up 15%. All around, and 18 years old, all around, that's actually quite good. And lastly, we have uh, Bobium. Good at social, good, we need that. Um, and just kind of all around, just normal. He's a psychopath. Or she's a psychopath. Yeah, she. She's a psychopath, so doesn't mind butchering people and imprisoning people and selling people into slavery. It's interesting. No mood bonus from socializing. And a night owl. Likes to work at night. Well, we got a weird team. No one here is particularly great at combat. Uh, one person's good in melee, but no one's particularly good at shooting. On the other hand, we're, they're all great with animals, and they're all pretty great at constructing things, so we can get a base up pretty quickly. So we've got a little bit of a weird team. Let's see how this goes. I haven't played in a long time, so wish me luck. And I might need to turn the game up a little bit. I've been toying around with the volume a bit. I also recently moved this game to my solid state hard drive. So hopefully I didn't mess anything up in moving it over. I don't think I did. It is a little quiet. I'm gonna I'm gonna raise the volume. Let me just Let's try that. Okay, that sounds good. So usual thing: make sure that they know that they're allowed to access their uh, medical supplies and their prepackaged food. Okay, our best shooter is Bobium, so he's taking the rifle. You take the pistol. And you're the worst in combat overall, so you can take the knife. Although... Our best shooter is also our best melee. Whatever. The knife is the last resort. Let them know that they can use the wood... And the steel. Okay. So we're in a temperate forest, is where I decided to start. Yeah, Muffalo at the crash site. Um, we are in... A high elevation temperate forest because we almost never we usually play in extreme weather so we're gonna play in a temperate forest this time to really show off the diversity of animals that we can tame um, doesn't look like we started with any tamed animals actually I think you always start with one let's check uh, I gotta get used to this new list we have a Yorkshire Terrier oh you can't see him under the rock there under Dwayne the Rock Johnson seven-year-old called Delilah uh, we want to train you in obedience, that's for sure. You always start with an animal now. Yorkshire Terrier is one of the most useless ones you can start with, but is good for morale. I was hoping for a proper big hunting dog or something. Alright, before we get started, 
we got to uh, deal with our priorities here. You can see the menus are a little bit different now, which I think is a big improvement. Uh, so, as usual, firefighting, high priority, you're our best doctor. Uh, for wardening, they're all pretty good at social. But Bobbium can have the highest priority on that. Handle, oh right, animal handling. It's so often that the warden ends up being the cook, it's really frustrating when that happens. And our best shooter is you, right? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Don't have the best priorities here. No one's particularly good at things. Just gotta figure out exactly how I want to handle this stuff. I guess our best crafter is you. Alright. That's gonna have to do for now. Again, we have a bit of a lopsided issue. And, uh, who... Was it Bobium who's the psychopath night owl? Yeah, okay. So, Bobium, you're gonna have to have a different schedule. How long do they sleep from, uh... What would that be? From 10 to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So they sleep 8 hours. Okay, it doesn't like being awake in the morning, so let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on him. And anything for the rest. That sounds about right. Okay. And now let's start setting up our home area. Where do we want to live? Well, their geyser's over here. I kind of like this spot here. My only problem is, uh... We'd have to run a wire all the way up here for a geyser. We could go right here. I don't like this lake being here, honestly. Because we can't build on it and it's hard to defend ourselves from that direction. Oh, thanks for subscribing, Metalizer. Hmm. How do I want to handle this? Because I could easily defend just wall here, wall here. Probably going to have to do a wall here. But I'd like to expand up into here. Take those. Wall off here. I don't know. Might be overextending ourselves taking that much land that early. I think the immediate idea, we want to stay here. So let's uh, let's decide to stay here for now. Let's stockpile. Let's do a 7x7 seven seven stockpile right there. Dumping zone beside it for now. And plan out our homes. Uh, usually seven by seven houses, unless you want to have a big house with multiple rooms. All kind of depends on where you want to go. Do I know anything about the Guild 3? Uh, all I know is whatever they put on their Facebook. But I also want the people to kind of live in the mountainside here, where it's more protected and using up less room that I could use for farming. So, for now, I think let's just get a longhouse. Hmm, remove that. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Let's do a 40 by 16 kind of thing here. And what we're going to do here is make this a multi-purpose longhouse for early on. Going to take away that... What is that? Uh, that's the fifth one. There. And this will do for now. Okay. So now we take wood. 
Let's get them the actual uh, job to work on this. We're going to unpause it now so they're going to get started on working while we figure this out. We can go ahead and um, I'm trying to remember where everything is. It's been, again, so long since I've played Sleeping Spot. Here we go. I'll just put three Sleeping Spots there for now. Okay, um... So that's a nice sizable kitchen for future-proofing it. Or that's the, that's the freezer, and then we have a kitchen, like, right here. And I'm thinking around... What is that, this 14? Okay. Through here, this will be kind of a workshop and storage area. This will be a dining and an entertainment area. And also set that for deconstruction. Which means we can stockpile in here and in here. With this stockpile, we clear all. This has got to be preferred. Yeah, preferred. And this is where we can put any bodies that need to be refrigerated. As well as hops... Any kind of food. I think that's it. So we now have food storage set up. And which means we can move our dumping stockpile to, I don't know, there. All right. So we have storage areas kind of set up and how we want them. Sorry, I'm not reading the chat much right now. It's just kind of like this in the early game. Let them know they can chop down all the trees in here. And haul all of the junk out of here. And get this place some doors so we have a roof on this. Trying to get our building up first so that they're not sleeping on the floor outside in a half-built building. There we go. Walls there, there, there. Perfect. We need a meal source, of course. We also need power. Just setting everything up. And let's go solar panel for now, just because it generates a lot. Um, yeah, I think I want the first farm to be up there. So let's put the first panel out here. Run a power conduit. And a couple of batteries inside. Alright, we got things going up. Uh, we can get our first research queued up, in which the first one I want to be stone cutting, maybe? I forget what I usually go for, actually. I think I usually go for geothermal power, but I want an early stone cutting for walls. Oh, we get to name our, t our place. Chat, any suggestions? I feel bad that um, the chat isn't getting read much. On the first break, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a short break and see if I can get a chat liaison in, so that they can pass on messages from the chat to me, so I can communicate with you guys a bit more. 
Usually I communicate with you guys more in these RimWorld streams, but you guys probably remember if you've been here on previous ones that the, uh, the really early matches are always all, or the, the very early game of these uh, levels, rather, are very pay attention to the game nonstop. Fort MDB. Well, fuck it. It was the first thing said. Or no, New Bar was also... Actually, I like New Bar. Usually I go with uh, New Hawkstown or Old Hawkstown. Because I find that humorous. Okay, so we're actually low on steel at the moment. Well, that just means we have some mining to do. Just kind of surfing around here, seeing where I can and can't mine. Here we go. Some steel already there and some food. Good. Because I really want to get these batteries up and running uh, so that I can have some power stored for at night. Uh, it looks like he hasn't been trained into obedience yet, because everyone has so many things to work on. But uh, obedience just allows me to set an owner for an animal, for them to follow that owner around. Right now, he just kind of hangs around the base. I don't know why it's telling me the name of this random person coming by. Jellyfish. Apparently one of the next big updates is to have trade caravans come by with the neighboring villages to give you more uh, incentive to friend with uh, to be with them. A uh, person in the chat whose name is very difficult for me to read who just asked why I'm on Hitbox instead of Twitch. I was on Twitch for years. However, if you scroll down slightly below the video, you'll find an entire explanation as to why I'm on Hitbox. I actually have an FAQ section for that because so many people ask. All right, well, our little base is coming along decently. We have an enclosed area for us at least. Mad animal. Local squirrel has gone insane. I don't think that's an issue. I feel like I'm uh, starting things really slowly because it's been so long since I've actively played this game that I'm uh, not remembering every little thing I should be doing. I'm definitely having a hard time with the menus. So one thing we definitely need to do is get ourselves a proper floor so we're walking around in our home at a good speed. So, they're going to start laying down a wood floor on the entire interior of the house. And I'd also like a lamp. Some kind of light source. So, we're low on food. Low on trading capacity. Okay. Well, boars are a good thing to hunt. Hard to tame. Oh, God. None of our people are very good with guns. <laughs> So hunting might take a while. Alright, no one can do fine meals yet. Okay, simple meals it is. Do until you have... Let's do 15. And butcher... T oh, fuck. No. Butcher table. Butcher creature. Uh, do forever. Whenever you get something that can be butchered, butcher it. We also need more power. We definitely need more wood. Let's get a chop wood command up here. And I've actually forgotten to start a farm. I usually like to do that almost right away. Let's do the usual 9 by 3s So we'll start with three. Uh, potato, that's good. Corn is great. And rice. So all food things that grow pretty fast. 
Once they're done setting that up, I'll set up a cotton one. Oh, Wanderer joins! Yay, someone joined, which means... If I tab out here... Start! We can start another poll in the chat to see who this person gets named after. So this person is really, really good at research. Is neurotic, has bloodlust, and a hard worker. This is a weird one. Also, not particularly good shooting. Great. Well, we can divvy up their work here. Can't haul. That's a shame. Can research very well, though, so I'm going to have that as a decently high priority. And I guess cooking, too. Yeah, this person's actually our best chef. This person's actually all right. All right, looks like we finally have something to eat. Caught a boar. And does anyone have a very high grow stat? Not particularly. Great, we do need people to work on that more. So I'm going to up the priority on it so we have people actually working the fields. Hey, zone destroyed. Oh, thanks for subscribing, Super Gecko. Sorry I noticed so late. I got I'm very, very focused on this. Usually a chat liaison would help me. But I still need to bring one in for today. Failed teaching the terrier. Great. Stupid terrier. Cargo pods. That's steel. And that is not too far away. I'll let them know that they can use that steel. Stone cutting researched. Good. I want hospital beds early, but I also want geothermal power. That's geothermal power. Alright, let's set up some furniture as well. Ah, oh, we need more wood. Well, set it up early. have a lot of trees set for chopping. We're a little low in resources this early. And in about one more game day, we'll check to see what stomp needs to be renamed. All right, I need another sleeping spot for him. Forgot about that. Okay, while he's doing that, let's start uh, planning out the interior here. Seven by seven too big. You know what? Seven by seven's fine, I think. I want them to have nice bedrooms so they can be nice and happy. And they're going to be living in the side of the mountain. So we've got that set up as a task now. This is the most recent update since the last time I streamed it, yes. Um, last time we streamed was Alpha 11, this is Alpha 12. It's got animal taming and a whole new UI, which I find to be better. This is the world we live in, and we're right here with that little dot there. You didn't do anything on the doorways in the mountain. Oh, I missed those two doorways. Thank you.
Seven by seven is what you think the minimum is so that it's not cramped. I think you might be right. It's it's something like that. It's either it's between five by five and seven by seven. I think it's seven by seven. Oh, looks like we found some uh, steel in there while we're mining. Good. We start compact steel. Now, we're going to start fighting raiders sometime soon, so... Might want to get some sandbags up. So these are temporary sandbags we're throwing down in a few spots where we think the raiders might come from, so we have some kind of long-ranged cover from them. Yeah, we'll be putting up, like, proper doors and stuff on the mountain home eventually. Right now I'm just kind of mining it out and getting it prepared. Gonna have to haul that thing out. So if we go to our home area here... Gonna want all of that as home area, so they know to keep that clean. 5x5 five five is cramped? I think you might be right. Oops. And wood floor. We've got a nice little camp being set up here. We've got some crops growing. We have lots of animals around. We are really low on food. We should be marking more off for uh, hunting. Oh, raid. Pirates nearby. It's one pirate, and he has a shoddy steel shiv. Looks like he's coming from this direction. All right. Well, Stomp is using a wooden mace of good quality. Let's bring everyone over. Get them all prepared. Alright, well, if he's going to get into melee, we might as well have everyone go into melee so we don't risk shooting each other. There we go. And... Jesus, careful with hunting Bobium there. Um, we want to take this assassin alive if we can, because uh, we have no one who's particularly good at fighting, and assassins are only good at fighting and hunting. So I'm actually going to put a sleeping spot in our storage area there and set it to prisoner only. And capture this assassin. Also gonna set a medical spot, because we need one. Aren't you, like, stabbed? Yeah, you're stabbed. Get in bed, and, uh, who is our doctor? You are. Let's treat our guy first. Trying to recruit, and uh, what kind of wounds do you have? You've got some cuts. Uh, fuck it, we got the medicine to go around for now. Use medicine on her. Alright, I'm gonna go to a break in a minute. When I go on, while I'm on break, we'll rename Stomp. Hey you, uh, wake up and treat the person, please. I don't want this person bleeding out and getting infected wounds during the night. So uh, at least close it up. Oh wow, cargo pods? Must be really close to us there. It's slate blocks. Eh, we can get that later. It's not a high priority. Alright, looks like the wounds are all closed up. Hopefully nothing is going to get infected. Okay, we need to kill this fucking squirrel already. 
Thank you. Because that squirrel has been trying to eat our food constantly. All right. We're off to a good start so far. Let's uh, say this as stream.